Moving along onto this now, South African-based telecommunications company MTN Group has reported a significant decline of 72.3% in its full-year profit. The sharp devaluation of the Nigerian Nairam has resulted in MTN Nigeria, its largest unit, incurring a loss. The company's headline earnings per share, which is a key measure of profit, fell from 315 cents for the year ending on December 31, compared to a restated figure of 1,137 cents in the previous year. The decline is attributed to Nigeria's central bank adopting new forex rules in June, causing the exchange rate to devalue by approximately 96.7% to 107.1 naira per dollar, um, by the day by the end of December. Adjusted headline earnings per share also saw a decrease of 9.5% to 1,203 cents. Investment analyst at FNB Wealth and Investment Jalpala Bulia weighs in. Today, MTN released results for the year ended 31 December 2023. Reported headline earnings per share fell 72.3% to 315 cents, and we saw group service revenue up 6.9% to 210 billion rand. The soft result was well guided for by management, with the bottom line figure being heavily impacted by mounting forex headwinds. So the group's underlying operational performance remained quite resilient and this was amid continued momentum in the data and fintech businesses with further progress being made on key strategic initiatives. However, the main detractor was the sharp devaluation in the Naira against the US dollar which impacted MTN Nigeria's financials. So while a higher inflation and currency deep appreciation placed pressure on the EBITDA margin, the group was able to realize some cost savings through its efficiency program, which provided an offset. So while near-term headwinds are expected to persist, the group has maintained medium-term service revenue targets, which provided some comfort. The SA business will continue to focus on its network resilience program while accelerating the recovery in revenue and EBITDA margins towards medium-term guidance.